Daddy, you go crazy. So I just heard you mention Smirk and going back to the Lenron days, did you and Lil Dirk grow up together? Yeah, we all grew up together. All of us grew up together. Around what age did you first meet Smirk and y'all start hanging out? Age I met, bro. I met him. Um, both of them probably was nine. I was twelve because they was in a couple grades under. Okay. Like so, something like that. When you talking about like mad kids, right? Hang, like, you know, it's my brother. So we like, you know, the ages once we became older, the fourteens down. You know, at fourteen, sixteen. Right. Now we all together every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Things of that and such. Did you have a closer relationship with D Thing, his brother? Yeah, it's my brother. Right. And may rest in peace. For so, for so. So tell us, bro, after you get out, you 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 get up with dirt, you start, you know, pursuing a rap career, that's when you started pursuing it when you got out, or was no. you around before then? No, I no, I wasn't rapping a little bit after like being home a little while, you know, like paying attention to what's going on. Life first, you just did that much time, you gotta really pay attention to life. Right. Paying attention, you know. Uh, you know this. You know if you be around it, you kind of know this the way, probably. You know, right? All right, but you gotta watch it. Uh, and feeling in the life. You know, damn presentations. You know, brother, bigger and bigger, you gonna get the scene. You gonna hold on. Now you gonna kind of understand how it works. Right. And that's how my story kind of played out. Watching my brother, I'm like, oh, he's lit. No, you know, we all came home around the same time. Like, I get back. Go get back. You know what I'm saying? Go get back. So it's like, you see that like, and that's what me going back. This, Three months later, he rich. Rap, hold on, man. If you don't want to rap, right. you might go in and then you just go in. Because you got to at that point. Because kind of now become like real life. Like, how? Because you're not trying to rap. Yeah. It's real life in front of you. And you got a story too. To tell, you mm -hmm. know? You definitely got a story, man. It's a blessing to hear it today. This is an exclusive. Booney Moore ain't did no interview with nobody else. That's for sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just heard you mention Vaughn, bro. Tell us how important King Von was to the whole OTF movement. Man, he's very important. That's our brother, you know. That's our brother. That's, that's very important. You know, like, he one of the ones that was there. You know, you could tell how the world loved him. How the right supported him. There's nobody going to really hate us, but the people that probably supposed to say they hate us in real life. You could just tell, like, you got to love him. That's our brother, he mean everything to us though, you know? Like I said, like I for sure got the inspiration from Smirk for sure. Right. Like the Zen seeing my little brother go crazy like that too. Like, oh, that rap shit, you know? Like, mm -hmm. oh, this shit, it. It's lit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. Come on, let's see what you know. Mm -hmm. Play with it. Then, you know, Broski see me playing. All right, come on. Since you for real. Right. Ah, right. uh, you for real, huh? Yeah. That's how you do it. That's my brother. That's how it goes. You uplift the other. You know? For sure. Uh, listening to the most recent OTF album, Loyal Bros 2, out now everywhere, you got a song on there featuring King Von called We Did It. Yeah. Can you tell us about that record, the concept behind it, how y'all came up with it? It was like, like I said, like, you know, bro, different. You know, like, just the energy, I'm, you know, we in there working. You know, bro, you know, we think I'm... You know, I like you gotta sometimes learn how to get substance to it. So you know, we just really being a tweak and ain't even really no like. You know, we ain't rappers. We ain't so it ain't like come in here, do that like that. No, look, ooh, this shit. Man, we both been through this. Man, we back. You know that we did it. Well, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like more of that than just like boy, hell yeah. Then you just get the kind of feeling a little bit like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, back. We back. We out here. Real life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real, real situation. Shot right, babies. From the trenches for real. We you did know. it. You know, yeah, for sure. That shit hard. And in addition to the uh, to the to the joint with Vaughn, you know, you it's another song on the album called For Real, your solo joint. Right. Uh, so tell us what it was like, bro. Just just making the album. You know what I'm saying? You like a rookie in the rap game, and you know this this album that's getting a lot of listens. For sure, you know it's like. At the end of the day, blood the drive, like you got like I said, blood like it's time. Like, you know, like I I know how I am, I know how I, you know, how Booney is. Like you gotta just work. This see is this ain't even a joke. Like in real life, that's what I'm saying. Like it's different. You gotta work. You can't play. You gotta just be for real. Take it serious. And that's how I like that's how I looked at it, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, like, boy, this is you can't miss it. Right. You can't miss it. 
Like, right. how? How could you miss it? That's like, how? You got to do what you got to do. I'm not just saying, like, your brother's going to push you. My brother's going to push you. I'm going to push him. Gonna, we're going to push each other, though. Like, Boy, come on. What you doing? What you, your life. Uh, all right. Pop your shit. Your life, dude. Like, it ain't, how you coming? All right. You know, going up, we working. We really working. Like, really taking, knowing we're going to take these next steps. Showing shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And really pushing each other. Oh, uh, for sure. Yeah. What are some things you've learned from Lil Durk as a music artist so far in your journey? Grand, just a lot, Lil, from my brother, just like, just on short, they like, crying. I know Durk a you workaholic. No, but it's for real. You don't sleep, you don't eat. Yeah, for sure. You sleep, you don't eat. No, nah, like, I kind of want to put yeah. emphasis on that because a lot of people don't know that. Like, folks really do work hard as hell. Like, it's a work ethic, bro. For sure. So, if you work like that, how you ain't gonna work? For sure. I'm gonna be watching people, man, do 15 now shifts, man. Mm -hmm. 60 days straight, 15 mm -hmm. now shifts for real. Mm -hmm. In the studio all day, all 15 night. 15 hours. For sure. No, for sure. Tell us about them studio sessions, bro. Them OTF studio sessions. Y'all be in there from, from 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. We've been there all type of times. We just got all type of times that people ain't even thinking about doing because they just trying to play rap a little bit. But yeah, real grind. No sleep. Up. Now, Vladdy, me. Yeah. Now, Vladdy, I'm up. Working. DJ, you go crazy!